I found these deer sheds a couple days ago. Biggest mule deer sheds I've ever found. I don't know what they score. I'm just gonna give them a, a quick rough score with the tape and we'll find out here. 183 and 3 eighths. Holy crap. And welcome back to the vlog. Don't mind the uh, blue glasses. I got two pairs of these glasses and they reflect like blue light, which I guess if you're working on a computer and stuff, it's really good for your eyes. Problem is when I'm vlogging, they get real nice and blue for you. I'm headed out, let's go mule deer hunt. Try to get on the back side of the storm and when the weather clears, hopefully the bucks will just be frolicking. Here we go. Two gallons in, but good to top it off in this winter condition. So, I got to where I want to camp tonight. I'm gonna pop up the camper. I bet it takes me under two minutes to pop this thing up. Let's find out. Well, that was definitely under two minutes. <laughs> it's about 10 degrees out right now, being in a heated camper. It's pretty rad. Just cooked up some backpackers pantry chicken and dumplings. It's cool. The only problem is you, have, you can't cook it in the bag. Not really that backpacker friendly, but great for the camper. So I'm in a zone that I've hunted the last six years. Four years ago, I was on a really awesome buck. He was at like 350 yards. And at the time I just didn't have a rifle that could shoot that far, nor did I have the confidence to shoot that far. That buck later ended up getting killed by an outfitter right, under, right underneath me. Good for the outfitter. Shame on me for not uh, investing in a rifle that could do the job. And then last year I was in here with my buddy Zach. We were on a really awesome big three point, but he just wasn't quite the deer I was looking for. I don't have any regrets of not shooting that buck. And the more I look at the footage, the more I've seen, seen other mule deer around, I'm just kind of like, that was actually a pretty nice buck. Either way, tomorrow I'm gonna go hit it hard and see what I can't find. What a day, 3,500 vertical feet, basically straight up. Saw a bunch of mule deer, no shooters though. All the uh, wildlife footage I shot with my iPhone through this spotting scope via a phone scope, just a little phone scope adapter. The quality of footage you get through it and like the ability to see incredibly long distances and very sharp is totally, totally worth it. I think it weighs four pounds plus a two pound tripod. And it just like takes up a lot of space in my pack, so. When I got this scope, actually right before I got this scope, I looked through a Swarovski a 65 mil, and then I looked through the 82, and then I was like, wow, like the 82 is like really good, and like way better than the 65, would never consider the 65. And then I looked through the 95, and I was like, holy crap, world's better than the 82. I got the 95, and I pack it pretty much everywhere. It is that good. And honestly, it, it allows me to see things that I didn't really even know were there. Despite its weight, I'm happy to carry it around. But I'm a poop pup. I'm gonna cook some dinner, hit the hay, and hit it again tomorrow. Oh, it's hot. Oh. And good morning. My inner bitch got the best of me. Press the news a couple too many times and didn't wake up until about 8.30. I miss sunrise, sometimes that'll happen. The camper is just so comfortable. On the trail now, going to explore new zone. I just spotted a pretty nice four point. I'm just walking up this trail and looked up and like 100 yards away 
I was like, that looks like a deer face. I put my binos up. Sure as heck, there's this buck just sitting there staring at me. Not quite what I was after, so. up this range for about eight hours now and the last two hours I haven't even seen a track. I've only got maybe an hour and a half left to do it so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around and start heading out. And just made it home. Been a really fun couple days. I've seen 14 bucks in total in the last two days. Doing pretty good on finding deer. Just haven't found the one that I'm after yet. I'm gonna work for a couple days and then hit the woods again. If you like this video hit the like button. If you want to see more hit subscribe. I will see you in the next vlog.